All right, good morning, HF. Uh, today's theme, positivity. Uh, the reason I choose positivity, A, I deal with a lot of negativity with myself, uh, dealing with my own demons. And every day I have to be positive, think on the bright side of life, uh, not only for myself, but for my family. Uh, also, uh, I noticed, since I'm kind of more out there, A, in this social media community, and now in another community, I notice a lot of people who may not understand positive thinking or are just so sorry for themselves because they never went for the, at least went for their dreams so they're very very negative so i'm going to be talking about just being positive and how to combat that so uh let the day begin happy wednesday all right okay, so on that note throughout my entire life i was always told i couldn't do it I wasn't smart enough, I wasn't fast enough, and one of the earliest memories I have of a simple fact I wasn't fast enough was the track team. I went to trial for the track team, specifically the 100 meter team. Day one, barely knew how to run, I didn't know how to do it, but I gave it 110% every time I ran 100 meters. The teacher said, we appreciate your effort, we're not gonna cut you today. For an entire week, I did not get cut, and I made the team, but after every day, the teacher told me that they were gonna cut me tomorrow. So that's a really small example of even how young it started with the negativity and people not explaining to you or myself how to improve. So one of my biggest pet peeves. So today's just gonna be about, I hope you improve and I hope you get better and failing is not bad. It's giving up that's bad. Canadian meeting place of all proper businessmen, Tim Hortons. Uh, so I'm talking for hopefully the next endeavor in this new company. For all business meetings, I take Theodore. All right, just finished with my meeting. Uh, it was freaking awesome. Uh, I believe I killed it. Uh, my agent is working very hard for me. And you guys are all gonna see something very, very, very cool soon. Very excited about it. And that's what I'm talking about. Everybody says that's a little bit crazy. You have a family, you got a secure job. You know what? If it doesn't make you happy, do something about it. That's my biggest thing. So right now, I'm doing everything in my power to improve my mental life uh, with demons, improve physically, with health, uh, diet, and fitness. And I'm grabbing that old dream. Old dream that we all have as a kid, and I'm grabbing at it. And if I can, with as much passion, blood, sweat, and tears put into that concrete floor of my new company, it's gonna do well. As long as you work hard at it, and don't take no for an answer. Okay, another thing I noticed for negative naysayers and how to combat these. These are, this is more towards the, the woman demographic of HAF. To the men that think you're fucking superior, you're not. My, I'm gonna start with background of why I believe and respect women up mostly. My mother was a kickboxing champion. She worked 16 hours a day to ensure that I could hang out with my friends. She worked 16 hours a day for years, I believe 10 years, till she broke down mentally and physically. My mother is a hero, I love her, and same with my father worked just as hard, I'm not saying this, they worked as a team, but my mother worked extremely, extremely hard for me. She loved me, she took care of me. So the fact that it's 2016 right now, and women are still dealing with dinosaurs, chauvinistic individuals, sexist individuals, and being told to get into the kitchen, which is still a popular meme. I'm gonna be very, very honest about that. It really irks me. Uh, Brittany, my wife, beautiful wife, she works extremely hard to help me stay mentally sane, uh, physically active, and helps me manage my stresses. Without her, I'd be sitting in a shack room by myself with my rocking chair, drinking, and working out. That is it legitimately 
So, don't be chauvinist, it's 2016, accept other cultures as well, and for those negative human beings, you can stay away from the positive world, to everybody else, evolve. The world's always evolving, you can evolve with it too, and let's make this place better. Uh, and girls, uh, real <laughs> quick, that's really funny. Wayne's real quotes, Brittany's awesome at them. Uh, about to kick off a workout after my chauvinist rant, uh, don't be a chauvinist. But going to the gym, going to do a squat challenge, bodyweight squats, as many reps as possible within five minutes, and that's after my workout. That's the last thing I'm going to do. And then, yeah, so I'm taking 5150 for my pre-workout. Uh, and then during my workout, I'm taking BCAAs, uh, just magical gnomes flowing through your veins to help you heal quicker during a workout. I don't know science. You can get all of these products at Oh. And shameless product placement, you can get all of these products at Gladiator Nutrition. And I think another big thing for success for either the optimist or the dreamer, if you will, is do not get sucked into hanging out with the naysayers, the, the kind of in the box thinkers, because once you bring your ideas to them, most times they're not gonna be receptive. They'll try to bring you down, and even would be more heartbreaking if they try to take that. So another tip for young human beings watching my vlogs is be your own person. If you need to be a lone wolf, until you find good friends opposed to fake friends, do it. It's gonna benefit you only in the long run because you're gonna be hanging out with people that are like-minded, who actually care about your success, which is huge, and you care about them succeeding. So you share the knowledge and you share the, the, the reward of, of, of achieving those goals together as a team. So. Uh, yeah, that's my biggest advice. Just keep away from negative influences. Do what you know is right. And you know what? Go out on a limb. Be fearless. Uh, and do not worry about what other people have done. Because if you get yourself outside the box, you will achieve your goal. If you stay within the box, it's going to be harder. So that's my advice to you. I'm now officially off to the gym, no more product placement, and uh, we're just gonna rip it up, so here we go. I think Daryl just runs away from now. He's coming back. So, okay, I'm gonna ask Daryl quick questions. Anybody said you couldn't do anything in your life? Lots of people. Lots of people. And look what he did. So that's the message for today. Uh, super awesome, successful entrepreneur taking over the city one day at a time. All right, now I'm legitimately off to the gym. Uh, done my pre-workout. Daryl's fucking awesome. And see ya. And then it's, whoa, it's beautiful out. Crazy. Very productive day. Oop. That's another guy. Make sure, I can't, can't say this enough. Take your time in life and make good friends. Don't rush it. Don't go after cool kids, perceived cool kids from a younger crowd because guys like that are fucking stand up human beings and that's what you want around you. That's the big thing about being positive too. It's being around good people who can help you spiritually, mentally and be good workout partners. So, uh, physically so uh, anyway now this is this snap here is gonna be the gym snap
Very happy about that. 135, it's not about the weight you do, it's how you do it, it's how you push yourself. <laughs> 